See, the truth of the matter is that even though we had God the Holy Spirit and we do have God the Son, something happened. God the Son, Jesus, chose to do something for us. You see, the fact of the matter is that we've all messed up. We've all done things we shouldn't do, said things we shouldn't say, those things called sin. And because of that, there's a price that we owe. That price is death. We are told the wages of sin is death. That's not a good thing. But thankfully for us, we don't have to face that because Jesus did something. You see, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, they are still God. And I don't want this to get confusing, but you see, they still had that solid connection. But Jesus did something. He left that perfection of heaven and he came into the world for us. In fact, Jesus did live a perfect life. He never messed up, never said things he shouldn't say, did things he shouldn't do. Jesus alone was perfect. But even though Jesus was perfect, he chose to do something for us. He chose to die on a cross for our sin. See, Jesus was perfect, but still some people didn't like him. In fact, they hated Jesus. They began to spit upon him, to beat him. They nailed him to a cross, and they killed Jesus. In fact, after Jesus died upon that cross, they took his body down from the cross, and they did something different. They then took it and placed it inside a tomb, a large hole in the ground in which a great big rock or stone had been placed in front to keep it closed. They placed Jesus inside that tomb, and maybe at that moment they thought that now Jesus was dead and gone forever. Maybe at that moment they thought that now we no longer have to think about what Jesus said to think about or live our lives the way he said to live our lives, because now Jesus is dead. But the truth is that was not the end. On the third day, some people came to that tomb, and when they got there, they were amazed to see that the stone placed in front had been rolled away. And they looked inside that tomb. And when they did, they noticed that Jesus' body was no longer there. The amazing thing is that Jesus did die on a cross for us, but he did not stay dead. The fact is that he rose from that grave. In fact, the Bible does tell us Jesus rose from that grave. In fact, he even ascended right back to heaven. And because Jesus did that for us, we can know that he died and he rose from the grave. We can choose to serve a living Savior. We can choose to make Jesus number one in our life. And if we do that, then one day we will experience that perfect connection with him when we spend eternity with him in heaven. That's the great news of Jesus, yeah.